Many a times I have been uh, asked a question as to whether uh, Six Sigma uh, philosophy, uh, lean and other statistical tools that you are uh, teaching all the time, can they be applied to any processes or any kind of um, sector? Uh, my answer is yes. And then I am being asked, uh, do these uh, tools also apply to our benefit in the stock market? My answer is also yes here, accompanied by no. Yes, because uh, the behavior of any process, including stock market is also a process, uh, does follow the rules of uh, mathematics, the rules of statistics, and the universal uh, rules of the universe. The issue is uh, we apply them without the complete uh, simulation, without the complete knowledge and background of these tools and uh, consequently uh, suffer heavy losses. So if you go step by step, uh, understand the background of the tools instead of hurriedly applying them to the stock market, uh, and, and use these tools wisely by understanding their uh, purpose and their background, yes, they can be applied to the stock market. So welcome to the new series uh, of uh, application of uh, statistics and Six Sigma tools in uh, the sector of stock market. know the English meaning of options but the question is options for what so options is a name given to what it's a name given to your right of choice your right of selection your right or your power of selection Let's understand this in a better way. Imagine this is a shop selling something known as options. And this guy is the seller. And this is the lady that wants to buy something known as options. Now for buying something, you need to pay money. So she pays the money. And what does she buy? She buys the power of options. Fine, but what is the options for? This option is to buy something or not to buy something. So what is the selection that she is going to make? Buy something or not to buy something? Now, I have a problem here. You say that I have the option to buy something or not to buy the same thing. That's fine. I always have that option, but why do I need to pay somebody money to have that option? Imagine I am uh, just passing a car showroom and uh, I see a beautiful car inside the showroom from the glass window. Now I have, I do have the option either to buy that car or not to buy that car. But I decide not to buy that car and uh, proceed further from the showroom. Now just imagine the showroom owner will not start running behind me that you have to give me money because I gave you the option of not buying my product or buying my product. Now, if he says like this, uh, I, I'm sure you are going to give him one tight slap. <laughs> the, what, the, what is this nonsense? I always have the option to buy anything or not to buy the same thing. But uh, nobody can ask money from uh, me to uh, have that option. 
So why did that lady give money to that person who was selling an option in order to decide whether she can buy something or she cannot buy something? Decision is fine. Everybody has a decision to buy something and not to buy something. But you don't give money to something to do that. But in stock market, we need to give money. But why? What's the logic? Let's understand why we need to give money. There is a logic. Suppose you have to buy one kg of gold for a huge ceremony after one month. And you know that the prices of the gold are going to rise from your technical analysis. Today's price of one kg of gold is 30 lakhs or 3 million Indian rupees. But I'm not interested in this because the ceremony is going to take place after one month. I want to know the prices of one kg of gold after one month. And my analysis shows, predicts that the price after one month will be 33 lakhs because uh, I know the prices are going to rise and technical analysis shows 33 lakhs price after one month. The shopkeeper agrees to deliver after one month at this price. So after one month, he will demand 30 lakhs, which is today's price, plus he will add additional one lakh, which is called the carrying charges. Now, what is this carrying charges and why does he put that? Because he will buy the gold for you, one kg of gold for you. He will stock it. He will block his money. Uh, it is this uh, period of uh, blocking of money and buying and reserving one kg of gold for you that he's charging one lakh extra. So that means after one month, you will have to pay him 31 lakhs of Indian rupees. Um, now, your prediction says that the gold is uh, going to be 33 lakhs. So what happens after one month? After one month, you have the option, the seller gives you the option to buy that one kg of gold or not to buy that one kg of gold. And it is for this option, he uh, needs to take some advance from you. Because uh, let's suppose the uh, prices of the gold fall down and instead of uh, 30 lakhs current price after one month uh, it is only 28 lakhs now after one month if the prices of the gold fall and they become 28 lakhs why will you buy uh, from uh, that uh, uh, seller at 31 lakhs I will buy at 28 lakhs because prices have fallen down. I will not go to his shop, right? I will not go to his shop. But then what he will do, what, what the seller will do with one kg of gold, he bought it for you. He blocked his money for you. He kept the gold uh, one month in advance just for you. And on the 30th day, you did not come to buy the gold at 31 lakhs at the agreed price because you were expecting that the gold will go to 33 lakhs, the gold will go to 33 lakhs, and that's why you did a contract at 31 lakhs. But the prices of gold uh, fell down to 28 lakhs. And now, uh, buying gold, uh, one kg of gold from him at 31 lakhs, whereas it is available at 28 lakhs, will be a foolish act. So why you will buy from him? But then uh, the seller is at loss. It is because of this fear of loss by the seller. The seller asks you at the time of uh, deal, that give me some advance money. Give me some advance money now so that after one month you come back to me and you have the option to buy this one kg of gold or not to buy this one kg of gold. 
in case you wish to buy this one kg of gold, you have to make the balance payment. In case you do not wish to buy this gold, I will, uh, I will confiscate or I will keep this advance with me and not refund it back so that I don't suffer a loss on the money that I blocked. It is, it is because of this fear of loss by the seller uh, that you might not come to him uh, for, for the deal or buy or not buy. It is because of this fear of the loss by the seller that he asks you for money in order that he can give you an option after one month to buy or not buy. Now, it is this advance given by you to the uh, supplier, which is known as premium in the stock market. And it is this premium uh, what you trade on in the stock market. That means this premium will be your price before and after the deal while doing trading in the options market. And you remember this price at which you and the seller agreed for the deal on one kg gold, that was 31 lakhs. So this was the price at which the seller told you, come back after one month to me and you have the option to buy this gold or not at 31 lakhs. This 31 lakhs in the stock market is called the strike price, the strike price. That means at which the deal has been struck, the strike price. And I hope you also remember in my up video there, just a few minutes back, that uh, we had predicted from our technical analysis that the prices of the one kg gold after one month are going to be 33 lakhs. So this was a normal uh, prediction by us that uh, based on the current price of one kg gold, which is 30 lakhs, uh, the technical analysis shows that this uh, item, this one kg gold, based on its current price of uh, 30 lakhs will reach 33 lakhs, will reach 33 lakhs after one month. This 33 lakhs, which you thought, which you predicted from technical analysis uh, based on the current price uh, of 30 lakhs, which was the underlying uh, value this 33 lakhs is known as the spot price. So don't get confused uh, like spot in equity is the price now in options market and future, the spot is what the price is going to be at the end of the contract or in our example after one month. So 33 lakhs in this case will be your spot price. So basically we have learned today what is the meaning of options as implied to the stock market. And we now know, uh, we have learned today what is the strike price, what is a premium and what is the spot price. In the next videos, we will learn how the option trading happens actually. Hope you have enjoyed the video. See you until next time.